While it's very important to have your own technique, it's equally important for you to know the math behind. Let's discover the math behind their butterfly method when adding or subtracting the similar fractions. The butterfly method allows us to multiply the denominators, so 2 times 5 equals 10. Then, if we are to simplify further, the result will be 9 tenths. For a different example, if we have 8 ninths minus 3 halves, we can have 8 times 2, which is 16, and then to be followed by 9 times 3, which is 27. Use the separator, subtraction, and for the denominator is 18, which will yield to negative 11 over 18. But what is the math behind this clever method? The butterfly method uses the concept of equivalent fractions. Usually, if we have these expressions, we are to get the LCD first, which is 10. Then, we need to make sure that these two fractions will be transformed to their equivalent fractions, bearing denominator 10, to make them similar fractions. For one half, we could multiply both the numerator and the denominator by 5, so that the denominator now will become 10. Instead of 1 half, we now have 5 tenths, which is the equivalent fraction of 1 half. As for 2 fifths, we need to multiply both the numerator and the denominator by 2 to get a denominator of 10. 2 fifths now is changed. Now that both denominators resolve to 10, let us now combine the two fractions. This expression now acknowledges that we have similar fractions of denominator 10. If we are to cover the second step, we could see that the first term of the numerator is just a product of 1 and 5. The second is also a product of 2 and 2. Here, it looks like we are just cross-multiplying the terms that could be found in both fractions, separated by the same operation. And as for the denominator, it looks like we are just multiplying 2 and 5, which are the denominators of the given fractions. On the other example, the LCD should be 18, so we could change 8 ninths by multiplying 2, and for 3 halves by a factor of 9. If we are going to cover the second step, we could see that the first term is a product of 8 and 2, while the second is by 9 and 3, separated by the same operation, subtraction. And then the denominator of the result is a product of 9 and 2. This shows that the butterfly method 
uses the concept of equivalent fractions. This is the math behind the clever butterfly method when adding or subtracting the similar fractions. Hello everyone, please watch out for more Math Behind videos.